times I feel like I'm trying to get fat. Uh, last night I was eating a pint of ice cream and I finished it because I'm American, all right? <laughs> I took off the lid and I threw it away because I'm not a quitter, everyone. <laughs> and because I care about the environment. I was conserving energy by not refreezing it. You're welcome. <laughs> of course, it was at night. You ever eat ice cream during the day? You're like, what are we, six years old? <laughs> Did we just get our tonsils out? Why are there people around me? Shouldn't I be alone watching Lifetime? <laughs> those hoarders, those are the ones with the problem. <laughs> I was eating a pint of ice cream and sweatpants like a man. My wife came in the room, she was like, Jim, are you gonna eat an entire pint of ice cream by yourself? I was like, hopefully. <laughs> Unless you selfishly want a bite. <laughs> Jim, you have a nine-year-old daughter, don't you wanna be at her wedding? Not really, no. <laughs> Wait, is there gonna be ice cream at her wedding? Because if you promise, I still don't wanna go. <laughs> How would attending a wedding, why would that be an incentive? It's like, don't you die! And Years, there's an awkward party you have to pay for. <laughs> and we need you to write a check. <laughs> now, I understand weddings are an important event where we spend a lot of money so that the bride can pretend to be a princess <laughs> and marry her prince and live happily ever after because magic exists. <laughs> and we're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Weddings are kind of weird. I mean, what's the logic? It's like, well, we love each other. Why don't we pretend we have a kingdom? <laughs> we'll invite your parents' friends and my parents' friends and we'll have a banquet. <laughs> and the two kingdoms shall come together as one. <laughs> and we can start our married life with a total fantasy before we go on a completely unjustified vacation. It's strange, right? I mean, weddings started off as these crude medieval ceremonies where women, daughters, were exchanged as property. Yet over the course of centuries, they got worse. <laughs> That's why people cry at weddings. I can't believe we're still wasting money on this. <laughs> Whenever I see someone crying at a wedding, I would say, don't worry, it probably won't work out. <laughs> nice to be invited to a wedding, but you always look at that invitation like, ah, this is gonna cost me. <laughs> oh good, it's out of town. Wouldn't want to use those vacation days for vacationing. <laughs> and you can tell how much a wedding's gonna cost you by the type of invitation you receive. You're like, oh no, this one's made of baby skin. <laughs> and that font and the language on that, the Honorable Kingslayer. <laughs> Quarterly invites you to the marriage of his 40-year-old daughter to a live-in boyfriend of 12 years. Ring that wallet. Because you have to get the newlyweds a gift because they've done nothing. So you go to the registry, the registry, which is a nice way of saying you don't have to get us anything, but when you do, make sure it's one of these things. You ever go to the registry late? You're like, oh, the only thing left is a fork for $300. <laughs> I guess we'll be the fork friends. <laughs> we'll get them the fork. My wife had us register for fine china because you never know when the Pope's going to swing by <laughs> and want a microwaved hot dog on a $200 plate. <laughs> My parents, growing up, my parents had fine china that you couldn't even put in the dishwasher. <gasps> Don't get that wet, you need to clean it with a kitten. <laughs> it needs to be a white kitten. <laughs> so... <laughs> and most weddings, the guests receive a gift, right? Sometimes it's like a bag of almonds covered in candy. Thanks, I guess we're even. Since you got me a bag of nuts. Feel free to take the centerpiece. Sure, you don't want us to bust some tables? Uh, I didn't bring a broom, but I could sweep. It's not always like nuts. Sometimes the gift is like a knick-knack or a Happy Meal toy kind of thing. The last wedding we were at, everyone at the wedding got a wine stopper filled with sand because the theme of the wedding was waste. 
I got in trouble when I asked the bride. I was like, at what point are we supposed to jab this in our throat? <laughs> During the first dance? <laughs> I do find it fascinating. There's always a drunk person at a wedding, right? And I think it's because there's so many awkward moments, like, like that receiving line as a guest. I never know what to say to those people. I always feel like I've just seen a friend in a play or something. That was great. You were great out there. <laughs> but you said, I like this program. Well, I'm going to lie to someone else now. <laughs> you were good, too. You're the grandma. Uh, we, we got them the fork. Is the bar open? <laughs> Some of those wedding rituals. Have you been to one of the weddings where the groom removes the girder belt from the bride and flings it to a crowd of perverts? <laughs> because he cherishes his bro. What? <laughs> Who came up with that one? Hey, you know how the bride throws the bouquet? How about something for the fellas? <laughs> Maybe the bride's underwear. What happens to that garter belt? Oh, I have it in a very special place. It's in a room covered with photographs of the bride. And there's candles and fried bread everywhere. I'm not against marriage. I'm happily married. I'm married to a beautiful woman, the type of woman that when I'm with her and people find out she's my wife, there's usually an audible, wow. <laughs> which I suppose is flattering, but it hurts my feelings. I'm not a Yeti. <laughs> wow. Someone could approach me and be like, oh, Jim, we've discovered your wife has no visual perception. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't need to correct that or anything. She doesn't like glasses. <laughs> but I like being married. I like having someone to look out for me. And my wife wants me to live longer. We all want to live longer, but how much longer? <laughs> Like, you ever see old people, really, really old people, the look on their face, they always have that look like, ah, I can't believe I'm still here. I would have eaten so much more ice cream. Why did I ever consume kale? Wow. That was amazing. I feel like we really connected. I think you're ready to move the relationship to subscribe. If the button wasn't down there, subscribe. Just do it. Do it.